Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding. Official Mr. Maker, what's going on? <laughs> nothing, nothing, you know my dad walk on. Man, we got a special guest in there today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. He frequent the show. He's a comedian. One of the best comedians that I ever seen do stand-up, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and take that, take that stance today, man. My guy, and he humble as hell. If it were me, nigga, I would never be humble. I'd be acting a damn fool continuously, man. My boy Bubba Dub is in the building. What's up, everybody? Man, how you doing, man? Great, I'm great, bro. man. Hey, man, say, man, you, hey, man, you been killing it, man. Last time I, I had you on here, we had Chinez Myron. Shout out Chinez Myron. Thanks. What's up, Myron? And man, and 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 you know that day, I said, man, you know, I couldn't wait to get you back over here. I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get the nigga back, but he coming back, man. I gotta wait till he come back to town because I know he busy. I'm here now, though. Man, man, you, hey, man, you, you got to tell me about. Look, here we go. You got to tell me about uh, uh, just uh, the Houston move from Dallas to Houston. Man, that was a, uh, man, honestly, man, that move from Dallas to H-Town was really just about being closer to the family. Okay, okay. I got go, we, me, me and my girl, That's close got, to the hometown, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little closer um, yeah. to uh, Alto. Yeah. So, um, man, at the time, I was here, was broke. Get the hell out no. of here, for real? Bro, man, I had no money, man. But but you still but you making all waves? over social yeah. media yeah. and everything. A lot of people be all over social media, but they ain't got no money. They ain't gonna tell the mm. truth. Tell the truth. But I was just in the stages, just grinding and grinding and grinding. And I figured some things out, and, you know, ain't gonna make that move. I'm just trying to understand broke because I'm gonna be real My with broke you. Different. Your broke is yeah, different. Yeah, I was about to say. And, and the reason I say that is because was he broke living in your car, bro? No, no that nigga oh, okay. was not in no car. That nigga working down there at the ice cream pl- yeah. putting that I ice know, cream in the machine. I know. That's why. <laughs> when I think about broke, I think about you can't pay your bills. She's Jamaican. You can't find She's no Jamaican, food. man. Yeah, I know. I know. No, not not that type of broke. Not that type of broke. <laughs> not okay. That type of broke. Yeah. No, but I just understand how how. You made that transition, right? We called, and I was like, dang, man, he done left me. Then I had another nigga, I ain't gonna, well, I'm gonna say his name, Al D, talking about, man, you, man, Houston, where it's at. I'm like, damn, niggas, ooh, they leaving me, man. Man, your show gonna, you're gonna do crazy in Houston. Yeah, everybody gonna I was Houston. like, man, nah, man, nah. And it, was, it, it's, it had seemed like it was back to back because you moved and Seiko moved and everybody was. Just, everybody moved. Was moving. Smoothie all, moved. Smoothie, like all everybody the left time. me, man. No. <laughs> Do you like it down there better? Yeah. Why? Laid back. Dallas I mean, ain't Dallas, back? Dallas ain't laid back to me. Dallas love. Everywhere I go, I get love. But the H Town love, it's just different. Different. Like Dallas, they love me, but they'll rush me. Get aggressively. H Town, mm. what's up, dude? I see you, baby. <laughs> I like the laid back approach because I'm that. growing. And you never know people's intentions, mm. you know? Mm-hmm. So H Town is a little bit more laid back flavor for me. Oh, okay. But uh, don't get it twisted. I love Dallas too. Dallas was home too. But uh, I just like H Town better, just for security reasons. See, even when you think about it too, because I remember he would always tell me, even with the music, their music was always slower. You know, the screwed up, all of that st- sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Compared to Dallas, it was always like fast, the boogie, and all of that. We want to party down there. Just more like. Yeah, it's music slow, man. Slow. Everything, the everything. music slow, you know, everything but everything's slow. still the same though. Houston, Dallas, they horses still thin, than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't shit changed. <laughs> and traffic, which one has the worst traffic? Shit, H town traffic. H town traffic worse. Stupid, man. No. Yeah, it's stupid. But everything in H town is like 15 minutes away. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, you can't lose either or. I mm. just did. I just did it for family reasons, you know, and security mm. reasons. But well, you know, I know when you were on here um, the last time, it was um, you went to was it the All Star Games? Yeah, I yeah, did. that nigga right went down after. there, man. And he said the seats was trash. Yeah, man, super trash. Shout out to Shaq, though. <laughs> <laughs> how, man, did, how did that happen? That happened like I had. I guess God. God. I mean, but yeah, that's I dope. had 
a show in Cleveland. I wanted to set it up around All Star, and okay. I did. But I ended up getting booked for another show in Cincinnati. It's like a two hour trip. Oh, mm-hmm. so so the, the uh, All Star game that Sunday, right? So. Uh, I'm sitting around. Oh, I had them bands then too, so I wasn't even tripping. I was gonna buy. I was gonna buy tickets for me and my manager to go to the All Star guy. I was gonna spend eight thousand on some oh, good seats. Good, good seat. But God say, hold on, before you make that mistake. Honestly, he said, hold on. Real talk. Tick shack. I text him. I say, what you doing, big ugly? <laughs> he hit me right back. You want to go to the All Star game? Just I, like that. Just like that. I was like, hell yeah. He like, well, I'm gonna uh, send you four tickets. Just like that. Four tickets. Four tickets. But four you, tickets. But long story short, you had to go and get tested for COVID. Uh-huh. You know, nigga ain't trying to take no COVID shot. Uh-huh, no, and it, you had to go get tested. But I said, God ain't bring me this for to turn me around. Real talk. So me and my manager, we go and get tested. Mine came back quick. I'm good. I ain't got it. He over got mine. I'm good. He lying, though. <laughs> His ain't came back yet, though. He lying. <laughs> All of a sudden, he just came back. He was good. So we had a camera guy out there and another guy say, bro, I got two extra tickets to the game. Go get tested. Dude, they didn't want to go get tested. They wow. scared. They scared. Scared. But, you know, I think more people were scared of actually, because back then when they first started testing, they was pushing that thing all the way up your nose. Correct. So I think people were more scared of that than actually hearing about you you got know, you, you got, got it, it. Yeah. right. People just didn't want to put that all the way up their and nose. They knows. So, we, so I we, was one of them. Me too. At first. <laughs> but uh, we get to the game, you know, we go in and we down. And I'm like, bro, hold up, bro. These ain't got seats. You tripping. <laughs> I know we, I think he going to pick up some third where he at by yeah, TNT. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro, he's like, nah, these the seats. So <laughs> I get in there. We was like, damn, got go Gary Payton, Dominique Wilkins. Y'all right there. Everybody right there. I'm like, man, let me tick shake, man. Like, Cause no, I'm not talk shit to him, but today I'm like, I'm in another world because he can put me in another world. I'm like, bro, he sees crazy, bro. Shaq like, hell no, nah, nigga. These seats trash. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, man, you should do a video. Enjoy yourself, bro. You that's should do dope. a video. So that's why that's where that video came from. Him mm-hmm. telling me to do that video, put it out, woo do woo. Shaq a great dude. Man. How the hell? Shaq love comedy. Shaq. Who would have thought? Bro, that, that that trash shit on them Lakers, bro. He hit my inbox, bro. He hit my inbox. He said, little bro, you right. The Lakers are trash. Stay on them. And, you know, I text back, like, appreciate it. Then he read, reality hit. I'm like, Shaq fuck with comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me try and get. Get on one of his on, motherfucking comedy yeah, shows. Show. And we was, you know, we was trying to work something out with me and him. But they ended up going with uh, T.I. Okay. At the time, he had come out. He wanted to do comedy. comedy. And he was, you know, I was pissed off. But <laughs> I knew, no, I was pissed off. Like, But I knew it, it was more about the name yeah, than yeah. the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's when I started understanding. And he was like, bro, don't worry about it. It's really out of my hands. I'm the face of it. Woof the woof, but other people run it. I get it. I was like, damn. He say. Don't worry about it. I'm going to make it up. And that's where that all-star shit came from. Damn. But, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with people like that worth 400, 500 million, they so used to you asking for something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never mm-hmm. asking for anything. No. So I could just be at the crib chilling. He'll FaceTime me out the blue with Dwayne Wade, Candace Park on the phone. Like, all oh, this, this my guy Bubba Dub. Boop, 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 boop. Just that type of love. Bro. He that even dope. Three weeks ago, he FaceTimed me with his son, Sharif. Just, mm. just, just so yeah. y'all can rock out. Just rock out. I see you on the deal. About, like, as he talk ahead. about his son, did this son, um, something, I saw something briefly, I didn't get to read the whole article, something about him getting onto the Lakers. Lakers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, him and Scottie Pippen's son. Wow. Yeah, that's the, dope. Lakers picked him up, yeah. That is dope. That's, yeah, that's I, history I knew I making. saw that. They gonna, they gonna replay history. I wonder. Well, I don't know, because Scottie Pippen ain't never been on no Lakers. I know he was yeah. Bulls, but still. But well, we gonna see. Well, I mean, they you know, all got Scottie something Pitt, coming they got, though. They got to come on. Phil Jackson. It. They all got something coming. Damn, so got Phil and come. They pops were both Phil coached by Phil. Man, that nigga that was hell when he used to be. He was just a dope. Hey, you know, he, he didn't really say nothing. Fuck Phil. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really say nothing. Come down there talking about trading LeBron. You gonna get your bad hip ass up out this <laughs> motherfucker? Fuck on Phil. It. <laughs> Take his ass back to the Montana Mountains. That bullshit. <laughs> used to be walking funny and don't even do nothing. He just sit down. Yeah, sit and they were cool as hell. They just sit down and be cool. I said, look at this cool white boy, man. Cool, man. But did he have the most rings out of everybody? Mm-mm. Ooh. 
Man, Hanging rig all back now. Man, with Bill Russell. Yeah, Bill Russell. Oh, okay. He got eleven. He got eleven, but Phil Phil wasn't playing. Phil wasn't playing. <laughs> he <laughs> got what? Twelve. Twelve as 11. a coach. Eleven as a coach and one as a player. So he got okay. twelve and all. So he got a lot. See, this nigga so know he his history. With him then. But that dude did it with one team. Mm-hmm. Phil did it with two. Yeah, Phil yeah. did it with two. He went. He had Lakers the best and, though. And the bull. You know, he had Jordan, Kobe. He Shaq. did. He did. Man. Pippin before Larissa. Mm-hmm. You know, Pippin before Larissa. <laughs> before <you know>? Larissa. <laughs> I got to yeah. make emphasis on that. Yeah, man. So, he, man, so Shaq, though, Shaq is one of those guys, man, that look like his success. He's buying into all kind of stuff, too. He's buying everything that, you know, he's an entrepreneur for real. Fuck Shaq. Let me tell you how Shaq do me, bro. Shaq will FaceTime me in a Bentley, Ferrari, I told you. big mansions. And tell me how you feeling, broke nigga. How <laughs> <laughs> you mean? I'm broke, nigga. <laughs> Boy, that's a hell of a friend. Well, every true. time we get through time, that's you, real. But every time we get through time, so you need your thing. Nah, no. I don't need nothing. He like, all right, I love you, brother. Talk to you later. That's it. Because see, a lot of times people need that. That's like me and my partner. Like he ain't on no shack level, but I know that so many people come at him. I never looked at him like. Plus, I'm a hustler. You a hustler. Most definitely. So you already you know whatever own. God got for you is coming to you. But not only that, how I look on things is he for those people who always have their hands stretched out and and you know just for any reason I want this I want that when they truly really really need it, it's going hard for them to get it. Yeah. Yeah. So that, and I got the same kind of relationship with Tracy McGrady. You and Tracy was playing hunky ball. What is that all about? And did you lose? Nick, you can't. You, we don't lose. Oh, he won. What? Man, he won. Man. And he good at it. Yeah, he good at it. He, be, he been playing it longer? Longer. That's all it is. That's what it is. <laughs> but him and Shaq the same person to me. They both down the earth. Wow. Same way. How did y'all build that relationship, you and Tracy? Me and Tracy, uh, nobody knew, but... Trust me, Greg is my favorite basketball player. Wow. I used to have arguments who was better than him or Kobe. Seriously. Used to have arguments who was better, Kobe Bryant or Trace McGregor. Before mm-hmm. T Max started getting hurt. The ball that ball was raw. That ball was something <laughs> serious. But um long story short, I bumped into a guy, he said, Man, you know, I uh I be coaching basketball with Tracy now. I'm like, for real? Like, yeah. He I showed him your video, he went crazy. Like, you lied. The nigga like me. For real. Oh. I was like, man, tell that nigga I said what's up. And the nigga did. And so, you know me, I always test the nigga. Like, let me jump at t Mac in Bob. Hey, bro, I'm a big fan. He hit me back. I am, too. Mm. I was like, bro, I got to do a skit with you because that's my thinking, bro. Yeah, got, yeah, that's he what He was like, do. what you doing next week? I'm like, I ain't doing shit. He said, come to the Lakers and Rockets game. Damn. I got a sweet. Mm. Ooh, you in the box. Pull up. How was it in the box? You know, you you ain't been in the box before. Was that like, your never. first? That was first your first time. time. First time. Love, bro. They having fun in that box. Love. I knew it all the time. Love, bro. Like, seriously. Everybody love. knew you. Everybody knew who I was, man. It was crazy. It That's was, crazy. It was an amazing feeling. But ain't that somehow God can open doors, man? You don't even expect mm-hmm. it. Or, or you know that God can do anything. But yeah. when you start hitting these different rooms and being in these rooms, and you like, dang, man, I'm in these rooms. But you don't, you know. But see, I know already these opportunities are going to come being an older cat. So when the opportunity presents itself, I'm like, nigga, I got to stand on this stage. Bro. <laughs> I knew I was in the right spot when he got a phone call. He's like, hold on right quick. And somebody, after he got the phone, somebody said, T-Mac, man, you should come back and uh, help the Lakers play. That lady will give you $10 million a year. Uh, he said, I make more than I got off the court. I'm staying retired. Damn. Mm, damn. These mm. niggas serious mm, about mm, the mm, game. Mm, the mm. real game of life, I man. I punching the air. <laughs> <laughs> These oh, niggas is bad. turning down $10 million? Man, I ain't turning down. Listen. That nigga said one minute. I'm like, nigga, where we going? Where the ball at? For real. Well, but that's that's something because those guys been been building up all this time. But then you see some that not able to deal with the financial gain. Correct, so correct. It, it can go either way. You got to be conditioned mentally. Man, t Mac don't even have no more fancy cars. He got got all that. Got but it's, it's two different mind states. See, t Mac don't have no more of the Bentleys and that's all that no more. That's the younger stage. But Shaq do. Shaq said he ain't selling shit. <laughs> <laughs> But Shaq's still making that money, though. Yeah. But he he invests. It, it just because some people look at it like this. Why not enjoy it while I have it? Correct. Some people be like, well, I got that out of my system. I don't need to do that no more. All, I'm, all I care about is the kids. Make sure that they're secure. I'm good. I say the same thing. I'm not going to do it either, but I, I'm a goddamn lie. <laughs> 
I ain't gonna lie. You For gonna a fly? split second, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. You, you, gonna, have to, you gonna have to reel me back in, you boss. To, I'm gonna call you. I'm for real. I'm Nigga, I'm gonna be you. coming downtown Dallas at the improv on a camel. <laughs> Red With that thing yeah. tied on You yeah. got to have a thing on your that head turban. You got to have a thing You know the turban yeah. Got to be on that thing But the funny thing If if I see you do something like that I'm not even going to look at you As showing out I'm looking at Oh he doing that for a skit Yeah <laughs> mate, <laughs> probably so. like, Oh, I'm going to be doing it for that Because that's what the money that's You know what I'm saying I'm definitely going to be doing crazy. that yeah. Man this this whole game man Like I, And I got to ask you this man You know we had a uh, And I always ask this right When Faison was on here He talked about the money difference Between the, the, <laughs> I always ask to all the comedians, the new ones and the old ones, the Facebook and Instagram ones versus the uh, the ones who the old school, I get residuals, you know what I mean? So um, I know you hadn't been on that side, but you've been dipping into the movies now. Yeah, you've been doing a little bit of movie. You're you moving around a little bit. What is the is the key p- component? It, both of them get money. I found that out. I get more money on social media. But you haven't been doing the movies long enough no. to really, really say, see, yeah. you know, what's what. I mean, it's, in, the, in the long run, the movie's going to be more money. But right now, them checks come in. Right. Facebook checks is But when you look at somebody like Faze on Love, he's ridiculous. been doing it for decades. I mean, yeah, I, I understand where he's coming from, but, you know, Country Wayne really, 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 really getting that. Yeah. Yeah. They come broke yeah. those numbers and I know, down on him. And I know Country Wayne ain't lying because I'm, I'm eating. You're mm-hmm. eating. And that's the crazy I part because it's hard, but I look at the old and the new because when, when Columbus uh, Short, Short came, came on, on here, he, agreed he was agreed with Faison because mm-hmm. he got all the movies. Yeah, because he got in the movie He came game. from that movie but game. But you got to think about it. You not, we get checks every month. Yeah, they waiting on the. They got to do. You it might not wait. get no work for six, eight months. You see what I'm saying? I but get a when check. But when their check come, it come. Yeah, but they ain't getting no more than a hundred thousand. So it ain't. Let's be real. Well, I might hit sixty next month. You never know. So it it's just depends. Yeah, that thing and that thing keeps rolling, and you yeah. can hit a hundred next month. Hit a hundred. It's it's crazy but, because the game changed so much. No, but Columbus showed them. Yeah, they getting money, but you know they might get a hundred fifty, two hundred thousand though. But you might not get work for three or four months. You dipping in, you, that's going down. I'm steady getting it from YouTube, from Facebook. You don't really make no money on IG, you know. But not anymore. But Facebook and YouTube, shit. Have anybody in the industry figured? Will Smith had before he slapped the old boy. Yeah. Will had it figured out, but then he slapped. But he's still good. But he, after he slapped the old boy, you know, Chris liked that. And they can't do nothing but help Chris out because his tickets went but thirty five dollars. Now they three hundred dollars. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> but but he at first you seen him on Instagram and you yeah. seen him doing stuff. The Red Table Talk got him a little bit in trouble, but he had seemingly figured it out that he needed social media to make himself relevant. He yeah. was working that thing. If you really think yeah. back, he yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. I don't think who else. But why why did Will Smith need? My fuck, you got four five hundred million. He's just like doing it's a it. Ment- well, it's a, to me Will Smith. Money don't buy everything. Money not gonna give you happiness and all no, that sort of that. stuff. You don't yeah. think so, he happy? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm asking know. a woman. You don't think he's I happy? don't. With all this, well, I don't know because I'm not there beside him. You know what I mean? But from social media, TV, all of that, no. I don't. And a lot of celebrities aren't. I can't agree with you because you got your kids, and them kids basically are in good condition. Uh, you got your family. And I'm looking at it from that perspective too. If it, family is so important, you talked about money not being the the whole gist of things. Right. Family is important, bro. When Very you got important. kids and you got your kids and they happy and they see the mom and dad again, no matter what, that's something different and you can't buy that. And I understand you that. See what with, I'm saying? Am I right? You're right. But I understand with life, you're um, no matter if you're rich or poor or whatever. You, as a family, you're going to always go up through ups and downs. Correct. Always. So you know, kids are going to drive you up the wall. So just like with him, you saw where at one point his kids was driving both yeah, of them that up damn, the wall. Yeah, that damn Jaden, man. You know what I mean? That nigga bad, man. He be doing everything. He jump on social media even after he slapped him. Nigga, that's how we get down. Nigga, y'all ain't gangs to sit down, nigga. But with money, it's a yeah. different kind of problems. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With money, it's a different kind of problem that they be having than what people without money be having. No, I get it. But but on the real, man, so um, that, that dang comedy man is it easy to stay in the game because you you when you started it is it been easy to stay going like that because that's the way you've been going 
is it does it ever thought come in your mind like man I gotta keep going I can't I can't look back I always think you see what I'm saying by going forward never thinking you know uh, I think people get complacent yeah they get a little staggered start getting a little money to get lazy yeah I work hard you go hard I might like I told somebody like man you living the dream no I might be living your dream yeah I ain't living mine no yeah. 100 that's the thing you got to think about because if the if hey man the the, th the minute you stop trying things, the vision start to go away, mm -hmm. right? So you went from forty years <laughs> to trash, mm -hmm. but you still do forty years. I got to. But People tell me it. about the, the the trash thing and how that came about. I want to hear the real story. Don't lie to me, nigga, because I know already. I can go back and watch your skits. Look, man, the <laughs> trash thing. Everybody say the word trash. Correct, everybody, but not like you. I put my emphasis on it, and that's what made. I learned my voice. I learned my gifts. Amen. If I say that's words dope. a certain way, I get a reaction out of people. So, man. I knew when I was saying trash. You it, damn sure it, right. It hit different. Bro, when you call me, you say, boss talk on fire. Boy, I got right then. I say, I got to go to work, nigga. So some <laughs> people going to call you and say, man, bro, you, you doing good, man. You know, you on fire. Man, you hit uh, me you hard with the shit I tell you. Yeah. I you say, my nigga fire. say I'm on fire. I got to go to work, He said all the time now. I promise <laughs> you he said all the time. He posted. I, I got it, to go. It, it give you energy yeah. when somebody call me and tell you that. that. Thank you for that, it, bro. You, you helped me so much, man, because when anything might have been wrong, you said that. I got to get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I never thought about it. But trash. It's just like boss talk. Man. But trash, it just it just hit. It, it hit. Just, it hit every home. Man, and, and, and it's it's common. It's a common denominator. Yeah, man. People people they gonna relate to it. You can you can put trash with anything. And it's your, your you took it and made it uh man, I had Bobo Luciano on here. He had a he say, Man, I'm the one that brought uh what was that that, that slogan that he say? It's a Dallas thing, man. I can't even remember. Now he gonna be mad at me when he mm. see this video. He gonna be like, "What? You can't? You can't remember already? That was it. Already. He the one brought the D. That's he got a, a, a already that he stayed. In the way how he said he it. brought it to a like trash. Mm. Like he 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 coined it. Is what he said. You coined trash. Mm -hmm. You made so it something coined different. Coined trash. Are you gonna put? Can you Bitcoin? I mean, like turn. I don't into, know about that. What you call that? that? You know that um. What they're using, uh, crypto. Can you? Are you turning it into any of that? Nope. I oh, got okay. a trademark and all that other. Oh, okay, you did. Yeah. Okay, because people put put it into a coin and selling it. That's dope. Yeah, so you might want to look into that. I'm gonna do that when we get up off this interview. <laughs> you, you talked about movies, so can you talk about the movies that you're? Um, Man, I can oh, done. I can yeah. done, done three films and all of them editing. Oh, so nothing out yet. Nothing out. Do you know when it's coming out? Sometime this year. I just did a dope series. Uh, and they're all movies, or they're all there's some of series. Two or? movies and one series just about to get picked up by um, either BET or Netflix. That's just awesome. Pick it up. What, uh, what are the other actors in there? <sighs> Y'all know Kristen Menace from up Kristen here? Menace up here in know. Dallas. I don't even yeah. know him. Dope, 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 dope actor. I'm gonna look him up. Dope actor. Um, the name of the series is called Bloody Nickel. Bloody Nickel. I already. Yeah, oh, okay. I play a serious what is it role. About? Uh, it's Ace Town. You play a what a, role? A serious character in this movie. Can you play a serious character? Yes. Hell but, yeah, I can. But see you have it. to understand. It's like it's one thing about me. I, my role is serious, but my parts are funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So it's like I can tell you a little bit of it. Uh, I'm married in the, in the movie, and. Okay, and I go and, roll? and she and she's at a no no and she she <laughs> she's getting knocked down at a party and I have to go in and get her. Damn, around gangsters. And you handled that, man. Dog, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it's a very serious movie. But when you see my party in it, you gonna be like, that nigga got it. But I, I like the fact that you're going in there as a serious role because so many people who are comedians, whenever you see them, you can't see them nothing else but a comedian. So they only get fitted for a comedy. Comedy, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact that when you're going in and you're going in as that, so you make producers and directors look at you in a different way. They already know you do comedy, so they can put you over there if they needed to. Would you ever want to do action too? Most definitely. I want to do everything except put on a dress. Not doing but it. But I want, no. But I, I want to do everything, man. So, 
like I mean, cut you off. Like people don't understand my vision. I'm, I'm gonna introduce the world to, to, to real me, Jerry Morgan. Forget Bubba Dub. The real oh, really? man. You gonna, that's the gonna be dope the, too. The name the check. Come on, Jerry Morgan. Yeah, man. I like it. I want to be the biggest. So you want to do? I want to be the biggest comedian, comedian, and I don't see no motherfucking stopping me. I like Honestly, that. I, I don't like see that. no more. I, re- I don't either. see no reason why I can't. No, I and don't. I want to be one of the biggest actors, mm. and I also want to be the one biggest contributors to giving back. Mm. To the next man and the next woman, because a lot of women need to be where we at, but we're That's not. True. Women in this America look down on, and I don't like that. I want to reach back. Come on, baby. Mm. I ain't trying to fuck you. I got now, a wife. I got at the a crib. Wife. That's right. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying Help to you? Help I'm trying to put you on game. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna grab this brother and put him on game. Wow. And let's go. That's we don't have enough of dope. that. We have too much talking, mm-hmm. not enough marching and really putting that's it down. It, and I tell people all the time, days is different. Like they weather out there how hot it is, that ain't the weather Martin Luther King that was marching in. I don't give a damn no, what y'all no, say. No. Not in them suits. <laughs> not in them suits. If they were, them niggas smelling I, like trash. I, For I real. Can't, I can't say I can't say it wasn't because I still see even today some men be out there wearing suits in this weather. The they Muslim, they nah, gonna do it. Them yes. young dudes be wearing hoodies in this weather. Exactly. So yeah. how they can do that? Man, it's just a different day. Different day and age, though, man. So we dudes on jiggles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perk thirties. Boy, yeah. hey, always, they got stuff I don't even know the name of. It's stuff killing people out here, yeah, bro. Man, fed now killing people. That's bro. what it is. That's exactly what it fed is. Now, bro. That stuff will do you in. Let me. You um. A lot of people use your uh, use your word trash, man. I seen Daz Dillinger use your word trash. Yeah, I ain't like that. Why? So. What's up, brother? What's going on, boy? What's up, man? How you doing? Kick a you all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yes, sir. He going to be on the show with He going to be on the show. All right, I'm going to call you in in a minute. All right. All right. So uh, when you think about uh, a, a Daz using your word trash, Daz Dillinger, you know, them boys used to have some good music. That for your time, though. No, nah, I know about the dog food guy. Okay, My okay. daddy was a DJ. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I whole album five. So why you didn't like him using it? No, nah, I did not think he didn't use it. He didn't tag me. And he know who I am. Why do and he niggas, know who I am? I hate when niggas don't tag this, me. Cause he follow me, but not only that, he he make a comment and you and spell trash the way I spell it. T R A S H H. So you a big fan? Big fan. <laughs> Come on, bro. Nigga tag, tag there, Bubba man. Dub Daz. What the hell wrong with you? This Texas. He know it. You know what I'm saying? He know <laughs> it. <laughs> Say, oh, my fans let him know it though. They that's, told that's, him. That's the beauty about this shit. When you build some shit, your people will go out there and tap them niggas on their neck. You know, she got in trouble behind. Uh, I posted something in uh, the Nicki Minaj fans. You know, I'm a big Nicki uh, fan. Yeah. And she mentioned Cardi B. And boy, they went off on my wife. They t- talking crazy. Man, we can't have it. I man. said, "Hey, man, this is yeah. my wife." Yeah, come on, they tripping. They now. didn't. They didn't. They, but they I kinda, didn't know. She didn't even know. She <laughs> she didn't know, man. And they, let me tell you. They let don't me tell play. You how bad they went in, right? And I don't care about stuff like that. But they somebody took it and posted it on their page, right? Then on, when you read in the comments, it's like, "I'm gonna find her IG." They went and searched for my ID, IG. They don't play. Shared my IG, and then. I had over a hundred comments on the my house. <laughs> they were upset. Like, wow. They young. They young. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they followed As me and told women. What they tell me? Men, they loved you. They, they cause I, I, but they don't know we are just talking. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, uh, I for love it, people though. that use your word, the it. word that you coined, I called it, First the man. one that you made pretty much people start to take recognition to. When you see these people, a lot of people using that word. I mean, everybody because of you. No, yeah. I'm talking about the way you use oh, yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about that. Man, I mean, it, that's I a blessing. It. I just bless him because you know it's something that I did. You know, I love to see people say it. Just give me my flowers for it. Do they try to put it in the movies when they're right in the movies? Not yet. Down no, the forty years, they uh-huh. did. Yeah. They did? Yeah, yeah, you got the fucking years in the movies, but the trash. Yeah, they gotta say it how you say it. It ain't, it ain't hit yet, <laughs> but it's coming. It coming, ain't it? And what's so crazy about this stuff, man? Uh, you know, I'm. Good friends with Deshaun Jackson. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm out there in Hollywood at the Empire, right? I'm telling the guy, you know, hey, man, I'm going to have some people pull up. You know, um, I need some extra tickets. They didn't want to give me the bubble dub. No, they treat Texas out of town people different up there. Oh, right? yeah. Really? I'm like, man, I need some extra tickets. I got people pulling up. Oh, man, we don't have any. I said, man, I got Deshaun Jackson pulling up. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> Jackson pull up, jump out. Dub, everybody rushing. Y'all get out the way. Dub, what's up, baby? <laughs> My God, you are somebody. <laughs> oh, they changed the tune. How many wristbands y'all need? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you love it when that happens, don't you? Every yeah, time. Yeah, it makes a nigga understand. I can imagine. That's the hard but, work but, paying but off. But to have to go through that hassle, though. We got to kick the dough in. Ain't nobody going to give man. you nothing. I mean, I mean, and everybody ain't running up on Deshaun Jackson. Let me just say that first and foremost. <laughs> you ain't just running up on D-Jack. You ain't just getting D-Jack number. Mm -hmm. D-Jack, you know, he from L.A. You know? Man, your gift making room for you. That's all I see. He cut like that. And, yeah. Um, man, it's a blessing, boss talk. It's man, to blessing. be able to say, I, hey, man, me and these dudes link, I, it's a trip to me. It's a blessing when I can pick up the phone and call you. You don't understand. When I call, sir, I be going through my phone sometimes. Let me see who I can call. Call these niggas. I'm going to call Carl. I'm going to call Bubba Dub. I'm going to call who all I call, baby. Seco. Oh, Seco. Look, yeah. Kiki. Mm -hmm. I be going down the list. Oh, yeah. Let me call out here. I'm going to call the, the Reds. The Sean hit me yesterday. I said, yeah, nigga, I'm working today, <laughs> nigga. I think I'm working. <laughs> But the list gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, Melvin Farmer. Shout out to all these yeah. guys that really love the show. Fred Hampton, I was just on the phone today. Fred Hampton Jr. Dope. Larry Hoover Jr. These, these are guys who are patriarchs in what they do, but they love the fact that we done linked up and we trying to do something to cause Networking. the wave to Correct. ripple. Correct. You know what I'm saying? When Correct. that wave ripple, you done seen water. I'm country, nigga. I make country analogies, nigga. Facts. You know Facts, nigga. <laughs> so, uh, so, so uh, you guys, I'm going to be honest with you, man. When I talk about you the people man they already know they already know ain't no ain't no ill fans or bust about it yeah you say yeah i got a lot, a lot of room to grow but a lot of people been seeing you've been working a while how long you been at this well, in total honestly five years total See, but stand up consistently for about a year and three months okay because what people don't understand when not like i said i started five years ago but i lived in alto texas so i wasn't doing no show unless it was in houston or dallas mm -hmm. so they just say if i if somebody booked me for a show and I got to go on this show, I might not do nothing for four or five months. Mm -hmm. why, why, why my, the people in my field that's in the areas, every day they get to go, get to go do something. work on that crowd. My crowd was doing the skits. Mm -hmm. That's why my delivery different. Okay. Like I got one of the best deliveries in the game. They just oh, facts. It's real, it's <laughs> real. Well, people don't understand how you get that, like going to the open mics, no. It's right here. But I want to know that's how real. hard is it because when you do skits, I know that's totally different from whenever you doing you stand know, up, stand up, improv. It's not, not really because you think about it. You got a lot of comedians that can make you laugh off the way they look, the way mm -hmm. they dress. If you listen to my skits, I'm talking that talk the same way I'm talking on stage. If you just think about it, I'm a mm -hmm. talker. I'm telling you funny shit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people ain't. They just doing one or two moves and everybody falling out. But they ain't said a me 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 ta ta. Mm -mm. I'm right. talking. I'm saying Hell something enough. every skit. I'm talking. I'm I'm in school. I'm working you right working now. You don't right know. There. I'm working you jokes know. right now. You don't even know it. And then you come to the show. You're like, I heard that. Yeah, that was a skit. That was a joke. Mm. I put my skits out there. Like a lot of people like to hide their material. I put my shit out there through the skits. You don't even know it. So when you put the skits out there and then you have to go on stage and say something. Do you say the same stuff that's in your skits and people already heard that, know that, or do you always come up with new content I all always the time? come up with new content is how you deliver it. Mm. That's real. I can say it in the skit, oh, it was funny. But when you see it in stage in real life, when you see me up there doing my thing and you hear, damn, that's amazing. Then you have to think about it. That nigga said, they in the skit two months ago. That nigga's brilliant. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't write. And you remember all of yeah. this? Man. I remember certain parts. Certain parts. So I can tell so you a you joke now. So you make it new that way. And then I can come back. If I got two shows, I can yeah. tell the same joke, but differently. And go, it's going to hit. I learned how to do it. The That's dude watching me one time, he said, bro, he told the same joke, but he did it differently. How he do that? Damn it, boy. I do it that way because you never know who might have stayed around to watch the second show again. Mm -hmm. So I try to change everything around a little bit. Do what? you have... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you ever go back and watch your own skits? No. I hate watching because I don't write. If I go back and watch, I'm going to get, you know, clogged up in that. That's why I feel like when I don't watch it, I'm able to continue to create new, new, new. Half the shit I say, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. My fans be telling me what I said, like, for real? Because <laughs> I don't remember because I'm just freestyling. I'm, like, I'm, in, a, I'm in a zone. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just flowing. I was going to ask you what city you like performing in the most but we can't say that so I'm gonna say what city surprised you the most when you went there and they showed you crazy love that you didn't even they gonna see get mad coming. because it's you just saying what, which one that showed you crazy love you didn't support expect support you support you yeah the most. I ain't saying which one the best like when you that showed up you didn't me. see like bam like I ain't know they were gonna do a show this love Chicago 
They show mad love. For sure. It's three of them sold out. Mm. They love Bubba Doo. That shit surprised you didn't expect the, that. out of me. They like ghetto boys the same way. I'm talking it's about a some, Texas thing. I'm talking about some real hills. They loved you. Love me. And they wait around after the show to come tell you oh. how much. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and, they, and you know the Higgles, they'll let you know. Like it's somebody who really got man, and and this dude it was in the wheelchair, so he like, it's dude, always I love wheelchair. you. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And dude like, dude, he really got nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to go over and talk to him, talk a, little to him a little bit more. See, more. And really see what's going down. Mm -hmm. And um, beautiful people, man. Beautiful people. Like really, like I could call them right now. I'm like, bro, I'm some, I'm coming to Chicago. They finna red carpet for me. They gonna make sure everything. Make sure I'm good. good. And that's. That made me feel good about my work because I helped them get through that day. Mm -hmm. And what's so happened about it, when you see, when I'm performing, I'm in that zone, and I might see somebody in the wheelchair, I'll come up with a joke that quick. Like, true story, I was in um, North Carolina, and a guy in the wheelchair pulled up to the stage. And I said, man, I don't like niggas in wheelchairs. And the crowd see him, so they like, why you gonna like it? A nigga, a nigga like that man rolled off one of my holes one time. They've been rolling ever since. <laughs> and it, not knowing, he was one of them niggas. <laughs> wow. But I made him laugh and he loved it. Man. And, they, and then people say, man, nigga don't never laugh at shit. You made that nigga laugh. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that nigga gave me something to smoke. And his homeboy, and his homeboy was like, that nigga don't never give away nothing. <laughs> 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 nigga, you special. <laughs> man, That's dang. So crazy. Go ahead. No, go. Okay, yeah. So, so you uh, took a picture with Desi Banks uh, yesterday, yeah, yeah. and uh, you uh, you know y'all referring to yourselves as Eddie and Martin or something. Yeah. Uh, wh what's up with that? What, uh, what, how do you and him link up, and what's what's there? Y'all got some special brewing. Just, 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 he trying to get me moving along. What? You better tell him to leave you alone. He on my phone. Do I need to every, call that every nigga? week. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Well, we get that the podcast. Three guys on podcast. He got his own podcast. Shout out to Dizzy on that. Shout uh, out Dizzy. You, you'll get to see it. Uh, dude really want to work with me too. Dude, wow. We really fucking lock in on some shit. And um, yeah, we. Really, I seen the picture, nigga. I'm watching. We we really fucking lock in about talk. I'm talking about some shit, it. some next level shit. Nobody don't see coming. So he don't want to give us a little. No, nah, well, don't do it. Nigga gonna steal. Nigga gonna steal our idea. No, it's not that. But you know, real recognize real. See, Dizzy is. Right. You know, he, he got, what, eight, nine, ten million followers? Yeah. Now, I'm guessing mm -hmm. 460,000. Yeah. But real recognize real. He know. Dub that nigga. Damn. Oh, I, yeah. I got to have you. I got to be around you. I, I, he'll tell you. I can, he can work with anybody he want to work with. But I'm that nigga. <laughs> Damn it, boy. And I ain't got to, ain't no hatred and no ill in my body. Like, I appreciate you for looking out, bro. Mm -hmm. You want to work with me? I'm going to go ten times harder for you. Are you contemplating moving to Atlanta? No, no, nah, I'm not moving to Atlanta, but I'm getting a spot see, I down. Some forward, I get, yeah, upset. get a spot. That that would make sense. And nigga, I help pay on it, nigga. You ain't leaving there, nigga. Nah, but I'm getting a spot you know down there, though. Y'all yeah, welcome to come and I For get the spot sure, down. I'm probably out there, so we gotta come. Got two rock wallers and shit. At the I gate. love rock wallers. <laughs> that's my favorite dog. Uh, so uh, tell me about Desi, baby. How did you actually meet him and and, and Desi, just link with him? I met Desi, bro. Uh, he hit my inbox, bro. Uh, you're a funny nigga. I love what you're doing. Keep doing you. Ain't no we like, bro, let's link, let's link. So we finally link one day and we do a skit. And he put the skit out and took it down. What? Huh? Well, I say it was his skit, but it was really my skit because it was had something to do with snitching. It's okay. kind of like I had him snitching and that's just not his, his people. His, yeah, yeah, his people, his, not his character. So he hit me back. He's like, bro, here's the video. You know, you could put it out. And I fucked his mind up. I said, man, I don't give a fuck about that skit, dude. That's the way we do it. Let's do something else. <laughs> and it, it it took him like, damn, this dude ain't really just, you know, hotting, trying to right. really get on. Right. This mm -hmm. shit don't mean shit to me. By respect to us. It's about respect. Exactly. And then, because he always fuck with me, but this trash shit, fuck with him. He, he, yeah, you delivering that hoe, though. You fuck, he told me, bro, you hit the motherfucking jackpot. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he called me, bro, where you at? I said, I'm going to die. You hit the motherfucker. No, I ain't gonna talk. Hey, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, my yeah. boy. <laughs> hey, my boy. I'm gonna FaceTime you right quick, my boy. Hey, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, boy. <laughs> he said, you found you found your niche. Damn. He said, game over. You found your niche. I like 40 years too, man. I mean, you know, I really never just really just worked 40 years because of that situation I had with Pop Smoke people. Okay. 
And you know I never really wanted to talk about that as much Until I got that situation worked out right. Which we all know we worked that out But yeah uh, If I were I probably still can Cause my fans be They be wanting to hear They got the shows The 40 years shit. <laughs> And I would never put it In my stand up Cause I would want to Always let the people know I got material nigga Yeah I don't have to talk about This and shit mm, Yeah the Nigga pull me to the side Like nah nigga That's why I paid tickets for To hear 40 years nigga Damn right That's I what want, they said I don't wanna hear That snitching shit nigga So I start adding that shit A little bit Like damn These nigga wasn't lying mm. People loving this shit Like damn Now when I come out Trash. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't got to say shit for five minutes. I can come out, them people saying, trash. Love it. Trash. Love it. I'm soaking that shit in too, like I'm Poe's talking. That's what Michael Jackson used to do. He just sat there and listened at the crowd. That video I just put out in Atlanta. Yeah. When I come out on stage, you never see me really smile. Yeah. I was smiling, you see me? Yeah. But they would just chant, trash, trash. Like before I'd even deliver my jokes, they was already laughing. Damn. You get to that point It's on It's on It's up It's up baby. Listen man uh, When Roger getting out man Man let me tell you something man Every time Roger come up for parole I go right back up there <laughs> Nigga ain't learned it Listen Look at them goddamn letters he writing <laughs> Nigga ain't learned shit <laughs> But it's funny you say that Because um, I got a movie that's wrote Called Roger's Coming Home Wow Shout out to my boy Anthony Corbin Shout out to my boy Anthony Corbin we collaborating He's a dope writer Anybody out there Right now Listen to me Anthony Corbin Is a dope writer Movie Got in two months He had you The best movie wrote He done wrote me Two movies so far I guess they had time To really sit down And go through characters And who I want But we got a movie Wrote called Rogers Coming Home Wow That's gonna be dope That's yeah. gonna be dope Yo people See You got a Fan base and, and, and it's kinda People don't understand What this social media does Is it gives you Independent fan base, I can say, to where they they you got them where that's how I seen when I went to Country Wayne's show. Yeah, he got them, man. man it was thirty seven hundred seats full. He got and I was invited. Yeah, he got and they brought me down, and then we went to the back and talked to him, and I was like, damn. Like I, I understand what you're saying about uh, Faison them. Faison need to see this. You know? My He's Country like, Wayne is one of the guys. That nigga filled bro. them seats up, bro. He's special, man. Country Wayne is special. Crazy, I Country Wang is to. motivation. I yeah. look at Country Wang is motivation. He very much motivation. Love that dude, like the way he coming with it. I look at y'all. I be looking at all y'all, man. Dez, what's the other one that you called me? We talked about the dude. I forgot his name. Chino Marco. Funny Marco. Funny Marco. Him and, him and he hit like me this. back. He hit me back and said he coming on the show as soon as he get in this Funny area. Marco. No, we did that movie. Yeah, yeah. How Funny. was that? Dope. What? Just can you what's tell us about the, the name of it? Um. He never gave me the name of He it. never gave y'all just went out and how did y'all get y'all parts? Oh, you know, they emailed that. They emailed But I wasn't looking at that shit. You know, it's my boy. You know, yeah. I can just read the part, cool. I'm snitching in the motherfucker. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's me. Yeah, that's your that's your that's character. character. That's yeah. easy shit for me to do. And um, you know, he flew me out. Uh, just keeping it one hundred. Um, good dude, good dude, solid dude. You know, sometimes, you know, people be trying to charge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I gotta get paid. You mean about all that all the time, my, my G? It's about building relationship with these people. You know what I'm saying? And I learned the game on some on some different shit. You ain't you ain't always gotta you know, not talking about his situation, but you ain't always gotta take money. You can take the back end. Yeah, real talk. That back end serious. Fuck that head up, man. Let me get eight percent of this movie on the back end, brother. Dope. Cause I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna get right. Yeah. How did you and how did you Michael Epps? Mike Michael Mike Epps. Epps. Michael Mike Epps. Epps. Did you hear me say Michael? Yeah, I heard you. Epps. Sorry, Mike. How we link? Yeah, how did y'all link? Cause well, I seen y'all. We had been talking in the inbox. Go back to Desi Banks. Desi Banks had a show in Ace Time. Dub, you need to pull up. I'm gonna introduce you to Mike. Cool. Get there after the show. Go meet Tommy Davidson. Uh, oh, Tommy uh, Davidson. That's that's heavy. Oh, real heavy. That's heavy, heavy. heavy. Oh. Unk, I can't think of his name. He's going to kick my ass, too. I just did that while ago on something. Unk, Unk, <laughs> Unk, Plague and Friday. Oh, uh, the one that... Unk Elroy. I can't Unk think of his real name right now. He's going to kick my ass. Oh, I don't even know his name, but I know who Uncle Elroy is because he be yeah. cutting up yeah. on that movie. You cannot know who he is. Yeah, he's going to kick my ass when he sees me, too. But long story short, after the show, Mike in his dressing room, Mike, like, 
They just like, Mike, I'm going to introduce somebody. I walk through the door. You ain't got to introduce me to him. Move the fuck out the way. I know Bubba Dub. That's my nigga. <laughs> That's it right there, boy. But the crazy part about this shit, Mike Epps, manager, love me to death. Mm. As soon as I come in, I've been telling you about this motherfucker for the longest, Mike. Put him on the motherfucking stage. Just like that. And Damn. Mike was like, this nigga been talking to me about you every motherfucking day. <laughs> bubble duh, bubble duh. He's like, man, how you doing? I'm like, good, bro. And of course, you know, I have my wife there. You know, she's a groupie to Mike. She loves me. Oh, damn. <laughs> so I come on and get you a hug and get the fuck on out the way. <laughs> I'm trying to get on the big stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was going to put me on the show in Dallas. Uh, he came up here to the, what was it? I can't think of that. Was it No Kill? No, uh, The Trust. The, the trust. trust. Okay, okay. I know what you're Yeah, he was going to put me on that show. And uh, just keeping it 100, he was going to put me on the show. And, you know, I was just going to do it on GP. But then I got one of them calls. Like, and you had to go. I need you on this date. You had to go. I looked at the numbers. And I ain't going to lie. I'm just real talk. Nobody, I'm telling y'all some shit nobody ever heard. I looked at the number. I had to call Shaq. Oh, damn. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah, I said, Shaq, man, look, I, great opportunity for me to go over here and do this show with Mike. He said, what Mike paying you? I said, I'm doing it on GP. Tell Mike you get with him later. <laughs> <laughs> Go handle your business. Exactly. That's love, man. man tell me some real shit. I'm just, I'm, I'm saying no, PG. I'm saying it PG how Shaq said, but Shaq didn't say it PG. I'm just saying it PG. <laughs> my boy got the commercials everywhere I want. I said what he really said, but That's it was love, all love man. when he was telling yeah, me. But he was always telling me, in your position, bro, you trying to get there. Mm. Don't you miss no money. Man, that means a lot, man. When some when you have those that conversations, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, you gotta have, and then to have that type of uh, energy or that type of individual to be able to affirm the fact that you're making the right decision, and they've been around so long in this entertainment industry type field. And man, that's dope. I mean, he was, he was like Michael, understand? You know? No, that's what, and that's what I know he knew. But but you being one that's on the on the hey man, I don't want to mess this relationship or how he might take it. To have that reassurance is dope, bro. Oh man, that that was love when he. You know, broke my damn thing. Nah. Okay, <laughs> it was love. It was love. You know, I, that's one thing I like about this. Now in the position I'm in, I'm able to call those type of people him, a T Mac, or Deshaun Jackson, or Dez Bryant. You know, yeah. people of, of of that caliber. I Shout could, out Dez Bryant. You know, man. I could, I could I like call, that. Uh, call and and just run and just you know just run. Just ask them simple things, simple yeah. questions. Because they've been you know. doing like entertainment business for a long time, and they've they have so much knowledge to share. So Correct. why not? But what I love about what you said is the fact that you're able to call all these people. A lot of people meet these people, shake hand, and then walk off, not getting that digit, not getting that number to keep that relationship no, going. No, when I when I talk to Shaq, and I always mess with him, I always say, I ain't got your kind of money yet, but what are you investing in? It Damn, fuck, fucks his mind up. Damn, oh, it fucks his mind. Though. That's real though. Like, I'm like, what, what business? Like, how do you get this? You know, how did you get this commercial? And he breaks it down to you. He breaks me. He break it down. Tell me what I need to do, and keep doing it. Damn it. And because his main thing is keep being you, and I got you. Man, I'm gonna continue to shout you out. Continue to put your face out. And Dwayne Wade, he, he do it too. Dwayne Wade do the same thing. I was just about see, to say. I found out a way to get people attention. Just like when I'm doing my skits, like a lot of people are like, man, how can I get the big people attention? I'm in their inbox. Well, if you're a comedian, start calling their name out. But you actually got to be funny, though. Yeah. And the way you do it. See, I knew that uh, Fashion Nova shit mm-hmm. was going to hit D-Wade. In my own you slick way. In my own sli- it In my own slick way. Yeah. What did you say? I said, Dwayne Wade is rolling over in this Fashion Nova. Think about uh, it. Think about it. If you know Dwayne du- Wade and his character and everything, mm-hmm. this is ways you say shit. Now he gonna know if that's a jab or they just love. <laughs> I never let the world know what it is, mm-hmm. but I got his attention. Wow. He he put it back on his story. That's dope. See, and and, and the way you saying it's catchy, we gotta get better at that. Maybe mm-hmm. somebody will share out, but we get shared a lot. Mm-hmm. We have a daily. Y'all let niggas stay on steakhouse. <laughs> Man, I'm, come we on, the, man. Hey, man, we were downtown. Shoot, we be everywhere shooting. I mm-hmm. think we one of the only ones to do that. But, uh, man, and love doing it. Love to travel, for man. Sure, sure. But, I got a question. Go ahead. Okay, when you coming out on stage, you all you used to come out to Nipsey, but now you come out to Young Dolph. Why? Both motivation. Both of them the same to me. Mm-hmm. Both of them took care of people. Wow. Dolph was hard. Hard. Taken away from us so young. So, so with Nipsey. 
Shit, we got to understand, man. When we go out here and kill people, we don't just kill them. We're killing 50 people lives when we do that. Yeah, that's they real. Take, they take it. They were taking care of so many people. So, yeah, you're right. I come out to Nipsey because I listen to Nipsey before every show. That's motivation. They clear my thoughts. Nothing negative. All positive. Dolph, he get me in that mode. Like, sometimes I'm human. We all human. Sometimes I be feeling down. And the way I was raised, we always raised to be humble. And I'm always going to be humble. But Dolph make me come out like, Bubba, you that motherfucking nigga, boy. You better act like it. <laughs> wow. You better act like it. What you else do for you a do? reason. What else do you do before a show to psych you up? I mean, I'm laid back person. I'm I, laid back. I heard something about a green tea. I'm a dead too. I guess from my vocals. <laughs> that's just from my vocals. I know y'all who y'all got that from. I'm going to whip his ass too. I can whip it now. He ain't got one on. He ain't got one on. He ain't got one on. He can't do nothing. He's going to whip his ass. <laughs> no, I thought we were going to bring him up here and sign his little old, uh, you know, when he get his cast on. But uh, before the show, I'm probably talking to some people I got up under me. Some uh, comedians. I'm bringing, I'm bringing on the road with me. And um, I want to see him flourish. I, like, mm. I you know, I want to pull pull this guy. I gotta. Get, he got to bring that chair up with him though. Um, I'm, I'm What's his name again? Uh, Give, come on, get JB. JB. You call him Jarrell Brass cool. from I'm Alabama. Bad. I work for him. from Alabama. JB. I let him talk. I let Fix him do a little camera. talk. He'll let y'all know what, what we doing. JB. Uh, y'all out here? Uh, yeah, I seen you in comedy last time. Yeah, I didn't man. expect you to be on that stage. Yeah, man. A lot of folks don't uh, really be expecting me to see him on stage because I be doing so much stuff. Pretty much making it close for my bro Dion Junior. Yeah, I seen that. I, mean, I love like it, man. I yeah. love the energy, man. Last time you killed it up there, man. Oh yeah. So, so uh, y'all, y'all got a show that's coming up uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we got some back to back joints. We got uh, Arlington, then we got Houston the next day. The, oh, the next day. Yeah, the next day. That's dope, man. Yes, so, how how is it working with this man, man right here, man? It's a blessing within itself, man. Like I say, uh, just tell the truth. That nigga, I don't, I don't tell me the truth. It's a blessing. <laughs> like, like it's a blessing, man. Like I said, love a little closer to the mic. It's it's a blessing. Uh, didn't expect it how it happened. Came and wanted to get up with Dion Jim. Like, yeah, I know him. I work with him every day. We make these clothes. Hey, Buck, Doug want to get with you. Tell him pull up. Pull up, my nigga. Then it, every day he kept pulling up. I'm saying, I do comedy, man. This my shit. Uh, shit, I just want to do some shit, man. You know, and it's been like this. Opportunity since. opened the door for you. Since last September, and we've been hitting it ever since. Been like Sammy Twin since. Every city we go to, they see him and ain't there. Man, I was looking for you. Well, you know, I be doing other stuff, you know. I catch you. Man, that's yeah. dope, man. So how did you first get into comedy? I got to get a little bit of background man. since you pulled up. Wow, it's crazy. I was in the Marine Corps. I served eight years okay. in the Marines. Uh, wow. And uh, I was in L.A. And the mm. MTV pre award parties for my Marines were like, man, I bet you won't get on stage. I'm like, shit, I ain't got nothing to lose. Got up there. I got booed by some sissies. And it did was crazy, Did people think man. you were funny before that? Uh, a lot of people did, but they didn't seem to think I was funny that night. <laughs> but uh, went back home, Alabama, regrouped. Uh, got with a group of guys, Mr. Grimes Comedy Crew. We was doing, went viral every month on YouTube, World Star. I had a, a character, No Future, No Band, Two Stains, et cetera, et cetera. And we had a team of guys, and that didn't work out. But I was just going back and forth from Alabama to the Improv in Dallas to the open mics off of Greyhound. Sometimes wow. the money be stuck, be with my cousin and stuff like that, trying to get back home and just start developing relationships. Yeah, you say you you. I've been trying to get Dion Jr. Let me put that nigga on blast. Yeah, we, we, we trying follow to get you each other. Back we we follow each other ever since we seen each other. We seen each other after. Yeah. I seen you. I seen him again downtown. Yeah, for down, mm-hmm. yeah we were down there messing with the clothes. Yeah. He done told me coming. He always say something out of the blue when I ain't expecting it, and it'd be like, "What the hell, nigga?" And we ain't even over there or yeah. something like that. But can't wait to get him on the show. Was definitely I, doing big things too, got, man. Oh man, I checked him out there. I, yeah, I checked, made him in Vegas for when real? I first met him. Five, okay. It was about. I I want to say about oh, seven at, years at ago. The convention. Yeah, was, I checked uh, yeah, the convention. I told him, I said, man, you ain't your daddy do uh, uh, football, nigga. Don't try to trick me. Nigga, I'm up here buying clothes. What you doing in here? And I didn't believe him. I told him when I said, I said, I believe you now, nigga. It's yeah. been six years, seven years. Yeah. So sometimes you have to do that just because you want to make sure the people know this thing ain't no joke to be. I, I've been here 15 years, man. Yeah. Uh, and, and then had several stores. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's a real grind. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and sometimes people didn't come through those doors. Oh, no. But at, at the end of the day, I already knew when I bought something, 
I made that decision to buy it. It's mine, nigga, and I can stand on that. Exactly. So if I don't sell it, nigga, I'll sleep on top of it with a big bag on it or whatever, nigga, to be a bean bag. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so so the comedy thing, man, um, what make you tick out there, man? What 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 made you just say, you know what, nigga, I ain't never gonna let this go and I'm coming with it. For you to come up here on a Greyhound bus, a nigga ain't heard Greyhound in a while. Do yeah. they still go around? Yeah, they still go around. <laughs> Yeah, that still go around. And not give so, up after they booed you. After that they first booed time. you. That's what I'm trying to get. It was to. just uh, it's hard to be the person that don't know how to quit or give up. I'm from the country, man, Alabama, you know. So it's like you got no role models either. You got a crackhead, a junkie, or somebody, a drug dealer. So ain't nobody to look up to. So I want to be that person. Somebody can say, man, anything is possible. Being from where I'm from, the only thing go down at the first of the month, the flea market. That's the only big thing go down. The central <laughs> flea market. You buy socks, washing powder, goats, and stuff like that. So where I'm from is small, man. So. Yeah, I'm coming out there tomorrow. I got to come see y'all, yeah, man. We're going to turn up, man. I'm coming. I already done set is, the, is set the in pace. Is the show sold out yet? Almost. Almost. Damn Almost. I'm damn sure. I already done sure. said I done paid my dibs, didn't we? Mm -hmm. you know, I had to look at her to make sure we did whatever we had. You know who booked it then? <laughs> Boss lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we coming in and that to thing. to be sold out during the week because normally people mainly go out during the weekend. So when you can get a sold out show during the week, that's well, crazy and you, and, and you know I put people on the game You know I could been up here and I done probably done like Six shows in Dallas this year So wow. you know it, it makes it hard When you come back Like that Yeah Because uh, you know um, It just You know how people live man. I just saw them Three months ago And I get it Because normally I want to come back Six months But I just got a new Management team I'm, I got the okay. same manager um, Michael Blackston got now Okay so um, you know they gonna work. Huh? See, that's why I asked you though. Yeah. That's why I asked you about you know if you're gonna have new content. Oh, most definitely. Gotta that's the What's that old boy be with him that we had on the show? D. D. Ellis. Yeah. Is he there tonight? No, Tomorrow no, no, he ain't no, coming. No, I got another well, guy coming. That my nigga though. I love Who else you having? Shout out to D. I got Piper the chameleon. He tough okay, too. he tough too. Yeah, Piper tough. I'm not hearing no females. Tough What's up about that? Let me get to that because I got okay. two. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just get a mama dog. I got two. Okay. Well, I got two who? females. I yeah. got C. Rich from Dallas, and I got Tony G from Mississippi. That's dumb. Young protege I'm yep. trying to bring up. Uh, and they good. Of course, they coming on there with you. They, they got to be good. And, yeah. and, and then, you know, Thursday night, I got Keisha Hunt. Nine and eight mm -hmm. Damn, you mm -hmm. know, that's one thing. So I you have two shows? Yeah. Back, and eight tonight back, and tomorrow? Back to back, like yeah. the Rockets. Well, tomorrow and, and I mean, tomorrow yeah. and Thursday. Moving like the Beatles. So right any show I do now gets to put the world on notice. Any show I do, it's going to be a female on it. Wow. That's good. That's dope. Got to. You know what would be cool? I'm big on that now. Do anybody do um, kids, like, comedy? like? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It got to be. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, you bring up, like, a teenager, like, somebody, like, really young. It was mm -hmm. Lil' J that did Jay that. Did I, yeah, Lil' J did that. Shout out to Lil' J that yeah. didn't come up that day, nigga. You remember what I'm talking <laughs> about. And, and, and C. James told you, nigga, that Boss Talk was the next damn thing. So, no, I'm here. That's my boy. <laughs> See James and him, they out of Arkansas. Okay. But you know, you got like for people don't know, for most comedians, it takes them a year or two years to come up with new material. I constantly come up with new material every show. Wow. So, you know, you might meet some comedians, they might work that same material what, ten years? Ten years they work the same they say they work the same material. Wow. I don't. Man, that's 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 good that's good I stuff. I work different material in my sets. What you got? Okay, I know that this is hard. How come you ain't got a blue check yet? Uh, Talk it's, to it's, it's politics. Yeah, why don't I have yeah, one? Yeah, because IG? you should, have, you should have, have a blue why check. Why don't I have one? You know what I'm saying? But I don't let that get to me. I know I should have it, but I got real blue checks. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Bars. I like that. You know what I'm saying? That. Bars. This nigga like should have been a rapper, like nigga. Because you've been on a lot of different platforms, and a lot of different Correct. platforms have written about you. And I don't so know. So those articles I don't know what are it out is. there. Politics. Yeah, I don't know what it really is. You know is. what I mean? Um, you mentioned one platform that hadn't put you on there yet. Was it... Um, the one that's coming later on. What's it? What's it called again? Shade room. Shade room. Yeah. Why they ain't put you I out there? I don't know. That's crazy. And I'm gonna put them on blast because they, like I say, they share everybody else material, and I'm in y'all face every motherfucking day. day. So, what's up with that shade room? Yeah. Well, we gonna we definitely gonna get to the bottom of it tonight. Because y'all be coming, sharing, they coming on y'all be sharing tonight. people. Really? People. Well, they share comedians, right? Think we hot over here. I'm glad you All said that. Yeah. That's and I'm, I'm their comedian favorite comedian. Mm. So they got to get with the program. Yeah, some, period. Some, you know. And yeah. at the end of the day, we gonna, we gonna knock those down like PMC. Nigga. Your top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Let's go. Uh, Dobie, 
Oh, B. That's my guy. Stop, boy. My nigga Doe. Rest in peace. Did you ever meet Doe? That was my guy. He supported me from Montgomery. Man, I like Doe B, man. That was was another reason I moved. You know, like, if they did my nigga Doe like that, what make me exempt? So. Wow, Doe B. Doe B. And and, and who's number two? Uh, My boy Deion Sanders Jr. Already, that boy trying to get to that music too. Number three. Number three, me, because I'm I'm a rapper. You rap too? (laughs) (laughs) Nigga, stop. Nigga, I I make you drop 16 bars right quick. Nigga, don't play with me. Look at him, he's You know what we do over here, nigga? We don't play like that. Don't get yourself on here and get in trouble. Ain't no trouble. (laughs) You like the rap? I do a little something. Man, you know, have there been a successful comedian rapper? I mean, you know, that's backwards with Tilt. So you can't say too. Yeah, he was rapper first. I just say and views. Then. I'm just saying like that stuff in the past. I'm over 50 million plus on YouTube. Just really, alone. yeah, with no future. But no I'm band. just saying somebody that got big that was a comedian oh, then turned rap, or, or, or like Jamie Foxx, he wanted to do. He's singing um, though. Yeah, he's yeah. singing. Yeah. So so it's like it's a lot of doors that could be open. Yeah, most that definitely. things that ain't even happen. And a lot of times people don't look at it like, hey, man, this thing can happen. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't realize how many opportunities are out here, right? Mm-hmm. It's a lot. And that's the dope part about it, man. What, what were you at the, uh, uh, you at, uh, uh, where they at tomorrow night? All the Improv. All the Improv. What time the show starts? 7.30. 7.30. That's what's up. We coming and we going to be there and I'm going to be, I'm going to wear my shoes. I got them shoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I got a question. Bubba Dove, you a brand within yourself, For right? sure. Right. Um, and you're helping a lot of other comedians. Are you going to ever have like um, a label? I say label because when I think about it, where you sign all these comedians under you? Yeah, Snitch a lot of records. Ooh, yeah, you got to sign to it, nigga. You got to sign to a 770. I want good telling motherfuckers. <laughs> I like the man. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, thank y'all for coming on the it's show, man. How can happen. people reach you if they wanted to get a hold of uh, you? Instagram, the real J Braswell. You can Google me, Jarrell Braswell. Everything gonna pop up. Got All a few right. movies I'm in as well, uh, called uh, Step Brother, uh, No Better Love, and Step Brother. Yes, you been in some movies too? Yeah, movies. I'm a uh, IDG uh, BD certified, the DVD movie up. I'm out there, man. Really? Yeah. That's dope, man. I, did, I go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, did you go do acting classes to go? To be in your movie? I, mean, I took one class. And let me must say, I need to continue to do it. There's so, why so did much you shit stop? to learn. Wait. I'm a busy guy, man. Can you cry on the set? On, on Dern? Cry, cry now. Nah, I can't right now. <laughs> y'all saying it. Y'all saying it. He's a nigga that break cry. down. I could cry, though. Trill Talk said he coming on here and cry. He need to. <laughs> it's going to benefit him. It's going to benefit him. He broke his arm. I said, nigga, come on up here and tell us what happened. Nigga, don't break down. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, hey, man. Hey, man. Thank y'all for coming on the show. Hey, man. How can people get a hold of you? Even though everybody already everybody know Everybody know, you. know who you are. Say it anyway. They don't, a lot of people don't know who I am. So you can follow me on Instagram, BubbaDub94. Go to TikTok, The Real BubbaDub. Go to YouTube, BubbaDub. Facebook. Um, like page Bubba Dub Jr. Or just Google me Or just get in contact With Boss Talk Hey Boss Talk is the way Yes sir I am family nigga Don't get it twisted nigga yeah. And I got the bag Back here too And he will case. call And text <laughs> <laughs> Yeah He will do that I will do it man That's Check what it. I like Say man It's been another great segment Of Boss Talk 101 Where the bosses talk And we have <laughs>